Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and say glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Wakar Kadash. Shalom to the uh, elders for preaching the word, should be being sincere. And Shalom to the uh, Akim, it's capital of four points of the globe, which the word should be in sincerity as well, too. I'm going to say Shalom to the Akim out there. And this is a uh, sit-down lesson that I want to bring out of uh, Revelation chapter 18 and verse 4. And that's the uh, title of the sit-down lesson. And as you see up at the top, you know, Babylon is falling. This is uh, this modern-day, you know, this modern-day Babylonian system, you know. From an economical standpoint, from a westernization standpoint, in many different categories of the aspect, because it has the highly influence of the uh, modern day Babylonian system, you know, and we see in signs of it uh, crumbling, you know, by the words of Yahweh Hashemel Shai, which is the Heavenly Father Yahweh, and His only begotten Son Yahweh Shai, you know. So the words of Yahweh Hashemel Shai is a stronghold to uh, Babylon. You know, we're chanting down Babylon by the words of the Holy Scriptures and by the words of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, yet as well, too. And as we continue to see, the nations are uh, against this modern-day Babylonian system because they've been following the customs and ways of this modern-day Babylonian system, uh, especially from an economical uh, sense. And as we continue to see, you know, the BRICS nations, which formed in 2014, you know, they turn from the ways of this modern-day Babylonian system and not trusting their economical system of this uh, modern day uh, currency as we entering into this uh, central digital bank currency as the uh, paper dollar you know is going to be a thing of the past very soon and that we definitely uh, going to see signs of that especially in these uh, modern day times you know so you know i just want to add an, uh, an, uh, an additional note to that this is a uh, revelation chapter 18 and verse 4 and it reads to the holy scriptures it says, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people, that should be not partaker of her sins and receive none of her plagues. So we definitely uh, cannot uh, be in the ways of this uh, modern day Babylonian system. As it says, come out of her, my people, that should receive none of her plagues and none of her sins as well too. Right, because the plagues is about to hit this modern day Babylonian system worldwide for a witness. Just like it says in second Edges chapter 15 and verse five, uh, behold, the Lord shall bring uh, uh, plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. And we're going to continue to see that increase in the latter days. You know, as we see the uh, pestilence, the plagues, the famines are increasing in the world today. You know, and we're going to continue to see that increase. So it's important for the children of Israel to come out of the ways of Babylon, of this modern day Babylonian system. Uh, stop. Continue to have your faith and love and trust in this modern day Babylonian system, which is going to be destined to be, uh, it's going to be, it, you know, it's going to fall just like ancient Babylon fall. Now, this modern day Babylonian system is going to fall, definitely from an uh, economical sense and a highly influenced uh, the westernization sense as well, too. And I'm going to read it again. This is uh, Revelation chapter 18 and verse 4. It says, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people, that you be not partaker of her sins and receive none of her plagues. Right, because the, uh, the plagues is about to hit this modern day Babylonian system, you know, and as we see in the pestilence, the famines, the pestilence, the plagues, the locusts, uh, you know, the weather conditions. So that shows you that the Heavenly Father is going to send plagues upon the world, you know. Just like uh, the plagues of uh, the plagues of old that had that hit Egypt, and it's gonna hit this modern day Egypt at a uh, at a long rate like never before, you know, because this is uh, the modern day resemblance of this uh, modern day uh, Babylonian system. This is modern day Egypt, highly influence of the modern day Egypt, just like in ancient Egypt. So this is a highly influence of modern day Egypt, modern day Babylon system, and modern day Tower of Babel on top of that as well too so it's important for the children of israel to come out of the ways of this modern day babylonian system and come back into the righteous path and the righteous ways of the heavenly father yahweh and his only begotten son yahweh shah come back into who you actually are as being the sons and daughters of the most high the chosen people of the most high you know so it's important to come back into the righteous path and the righteous ways and not continue and, and not continue to be partaking in the sins of Babylon, you know 
because we definitely highly esteem that and we glorify it. And so we gotta uh, set our sight, you know, set our sights away from that and set our sights back onto righteousness and follow the ways of righteousness, everlasting life, the moment our lives live the moment, and that's following the righteous path and the righteous ways of Heavenly Father Yahweh and His only begotten Son Yahweh Shah, as us children of Israel, you know. That's why it's stated in uh, Revelations 18 and 4, you know, come out of her mind, people, that you be not partaker of her sins, you know. Come out of the ways of Babylon, uh, come out of the ways of modern day Babylon spiritually, mentally, and spiritually. And come back to the ways of, of Yahweh Shemel Shai, and that's the path of, of uh, righteousness, you know. As we continue to rehearse the righteous acts as well, too, you know. So that's why we're bidding Israel back into the marriage, telling them come back to who you actually really are as being the uh, sons and daughters of the Most High. Come back into the ways of righteousness, you know. And that's what the Heavenly Father wants for His people to come back into the ways of righteousness. So we got to come out of the ways of this uh, modern day Babylonian system and be not partaker of her sins and receive none of her plagues as well too. So as you see the uh, this cold word 19 cases are going up. Those are the plagues of the Heavenly Father, you know. So we definitely don't want to be part of those plagues or the sins of Babylon as well too. So we got to uh, come out of the ways of Babylon mentally and spiritually, definitely for sure. So this was just a uh, sit down lesson that I want to bring out of uh, Revelation chapter 18 and verse 4. And that was the title of the sit down lesson. So with that, hopefully this uh, lesson was edifying like I mentioned before. And I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai Hashem, Wakar Kadash. Shalom to the uh, elders for Christian words, truth be and sincerely. And Shalom to the uh, Akim, scattered from the four corners of the globe, Christian words, truth be and sincerely as well too. And until next time, I will say Shalom.